Hello everyone. I am here at the uh, Pueblo Bonito Resort at Sunset. Uh, Los Cabo. Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. And um, just headed down to walk to the pool area. Um, just to get a little sun and play with this melanin a little bit. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself here. This is a really, really nice resort. Actually, it is the uh, best resort I've ever been to, seriously. Now, we did not get the all-inclusive package, but we did get the um, junior or, no, executive suite. We got the executive suite that sleeps six. So it's pretty darn big. I know for, for sure it's over a thousand square feet. So yeah, it's pretty big. It has two full bathrooms and it also has a garden tub, um, which is in between the bedroom and the bathroom. It's really, really nice. It has like the French door look that opens into the other um, restroom. Um, it's really a really, really nice resort. They have several pools. I wanted to flip this camera around. I can't figure out how to do it on my phone. So I'm just gonna turn my camera around so that you can see this one pool area at I'm right I'm at right now. See, there's one over there, and there's another one over here. There's like uh, several pools. Um, there's also a sky pool that's on top of our, of our building, but it's closed today because there's a wedding going on. A few things that I did want to tell you about this resort. Now, if you don't get the all-inclusive package, which is like $86 per person per day, um, you know, to cover your food and I don't know what else it includes. But if you don't get that package, it does charge you a 15% charge uh, on top of everything that you buy, which was not a big deal to us. This is kind of like, you know, giving a tip or something like that. Uh, which we, we're going to do anyway on top of that. But the food is so reasonably priced that, I mean, it doesn't even make a difference at all. And what we did is, since we have USAA, we um, went ahead and used our debit card with USAA. And all they charge is a flat 1% for the exchange rate, you know, to uh, transfer the funds from um, Mexican pesos or whatever into American dollars. They charge like a flat 1% rate, which is not bad at all. It's really, really, really low. Like if you buy something for what, $10, it charges what, 10 cent or something like that. It's really low. But anyway, another thing is in the restroom, which I probably can understand why they did this, but like the um, water flow and the power, like with the shower heads, it's kind of low to me. Um, and I think because there's so many people here, there's like a lot of people here. So that may be why it's like that. I'm not sure, but that's the only thing I could really find that was like a little small, small issue. Other than that, like the room is very, very clean. Um, the beds are kind of on the hard side a little bit, but I know some people like a firm mattress, so that's perfect for them. Um, I haven't had any issues sleeping or anything like that. Um, so, you know, I just want to point that out. I know some people like a firm mattress and some people like more on the soft, softer side, you know, when it comes to mattresses. Um, oh, let me show you this behind me. This is one of the golf carts that they have here, one of many. Um, if you need to go to any place on the resort, there is a golf cart to, cart to take you anywhere you need to go. Um, as far as like food and um, all that stuff, they have a market and they have plenty of restaurants. Like you'll never run out of places to eat. And like I said, everything is reasonably priced. So that's not a, an issue at all. Um, and also on the receipt, they show you on there, uh, according to their daily rate, how the pesos are converted into American dollars. So you know exactly how much you're going to pay at that time. Um, something else I wanted to tell you about is um, the beach. Now, let me see if I can, I'm, I don't know if you can see, but um, the beach is over there. Hopefully you'll see it. It's over there. I can show you a better picture actually from my balcony. But the beach is a non-swimmable beach and it's because of um, 
um, I don't, there's, there's like rocks and all that out there and it's just for your own safety. But they do own like, I think it's three other resorts in this area. So uh, the others have uh, swimmable beaches and they actually have like a huge bus that takes you from um, this resort to the other resort so that you can um, go to the beach. Now the beach we went to yesterday, <laughs> It was hola. <laughs> so the beach we went to yesterday, um, it was there was it was really congested, and I think it's because it's the weekend and there's just a lot of people and a lot of families there and all that. Me, I'm more of a if you've ever been to like Riceville Beach, which is in North Carolina in Wilmington, I, I like quiet beaches or at least. Uh, a beach that has enough room where you can go to a quiet place if you like to. Um, so th that's my thing when it comes to beaches. And also, there were a lot of solicitors on this beach, but it worked out in my favor because I got some really nice pieces that I bought from um, some of the <laughs> solicitors that were there uh, on the beach, you know, selling eyes and ears. I had a lot of nice uh, sterling silver pieces and for a very reasonable price. So they have a lot of that um but other than that if you're not bothered like by the noise or um like being on a beach where it's really really congested then it'll be perfect you know but sometimes when i go to the beach i just like like quiet time and like to meditate and just lay out you know and just enjoy me you know so I get in that mood sometimes, but anyway, I'm sure there are other beaches that they have that probably offer that, or maybe I could have walked further down, you know, and found a place like that, but we didn't. We kind of stayed just right there, and then another thing that you need to remember is when you go over to the other beaches, you have to stop there at the market and get a bus ticket. They're free, but you still have to get it. Um, so that everyone's not rushing up, you know, to the bus and trying to get on at the same time. So it's very organized here, very organized here. And I have to say that their customer service takes things to another level, seriously. Their customer service is the bomb, okay? So uh, you do have to get a ticket and they uh, run to that beach every hour on the hour. So, um you know at 10 o'clock 11 i think all the way up to about 11 p.m or something like that i'm not for sure but i think so um and then at the uh other resort that we went to to go to the beach it's rosa and um they're every half an hour so i think their last run was around 10 30. now if you don't get a ticket they will allow you to um get on the wait list or whatever where if someone doesn't show up, which happens all the time, that you can take their place and go ahead and go to, um, you know, get on the boat, I mean, on the bus and go to the other area. Um, also, I want to tell you this, there are not a lot of English speaking um, employees here. A lot of them don't understand anything that we're saying. They only stand like uh, a little English, like um, just to get them by or something like that. So if you have any complex situation or something like that, you may have a little trouble, you know, getting things resolved. But other than that, I'm telling you, I would definitely give this place every bit of five stars. I mean, because the things like the power in the shower and, um, like a real firm bed, it's, it's nothing in comparison to how well we've been treated and the uh, service that we've received here. And the amenities, I mean, they have everything you can think of here. Anything that you need, they've got it, seriously. And um, I mean, everything's beautiful, everything's beautiful. Um, if you would like to see a tour of our room, I did upload a video which includes a tour of our room, you know, so you can see uh, what you'll receive, you know, um, if you book the executive suite, but I definitely, definitely, wholeheartedly would uh, refer this resort. I mean, like I said, it's the best resort I've ever been to before. And this is Pueblo Bonito at Sunset Beach. There are several Pueblo Bonito uh, resorts, but 
this one in specific is Pablo Benito at Sunset Beach. Okay, thank you so much for watching and please rate, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any comments. I think I covered everything. Um, but maybe not. If not, I'll come back and talk to you again, okay? Have a good day.